Welcome back to Here and Now. We're going to discuss the renewed Atlantic Accord, a 38-year-long deal worth $2.5 billion. With the man who signed that on Monday, Premier Dwight Ball joins us in the studio. Good evening, Premier. Good evening. Glad you could come in. First, let's, let's start with the former Premier who inked the original deal, Brian Peckford, and what he had to say on Here and Now last night. The first thing I think that any Newfoundlander or Labradorian read this, reading this deal would say, what? Not another fixed term. Here we have a fixed term of 37 years, out to 2057. That, right away, is a red flag. What we should have negotiated was a floor where we couldn't get less, but we had the opportunity to get more if the federal government got more. Mr. Ball, I don't expect you to agree with Brian Peckford, but can you see his point that, you know, we, you know, the, the history of the Churchill, long-term agreement, we're going to pay off Muskrat Falls for 50 years, now this. Do you see where he's coming from? Oh, not really, because what he should have done was actually gave me a call. It's very unusual for a former premier and myself to come out, but I, I felt compelled. You know, I remember 86, it was a great day for Newfoundland and Labrador, as was 2005. So these are moments that I remember, but for me to speak out today about this, it's really... I think by his own admission, Peckford had said that he really didn't read the deal or spend much time with it. So uh, if, you look at today's, if you look at today's oil price, if we had assigned a deal based on Peckford's deal, we would have gotten $1.3 billion plus the risk and decommissioning that would have been associated with that. So we would have left $2 billion on the table and assumed the liabilities that went with operations of that field. So we took $3.3 billion of guaranteed income and no risk. And so, you know, we're in a much better position today. And I really need to talk to the guy. Well, the way, uh, I'll try to do that, but, sure. the, but the way you cut up the math, I mean, 3.3 billion, but we're going to pay back 800 million down at the other end. But if you do the average, so 60, is it 66, 68 million front loaded and all that. Sure. Uh, he says, you know, it's chicken feed in a way. And I wonder, you sort of think about the size of our deficit. What is it now, 600 million? The debt's at 13 billion. I mean, is 66, 68 million dollars a year, is that? Is that a good deal in your mind? Well, this is one agreement of many that would need to be done, but we started out this negotiation around joint management and principal beneficiary. This is what the accord is all about. And so we, we've taken that a long ways. We are now a joint beneficiary by signing this deal. We have a guaranteed revenue stream, no risk. When we were looking here, we needed balance. We know, as you just mentioned, the fiscal situation of our province. So we needed and wanted some guaranteed revenue. If we had taken the risk that Brian or Peckford is talking about, we would have taken on significant risk. That feel right now is an old feel. 40 million barrels is the reserve that's left. That, mm -hmm. that means it's valued at $1.3 billion today. So for us to take on that deal, this feel would have nearly had to double over between now and, and its finalization of that, pro, uh, but, that deal. But is that the trade-off, though? You get stability for a quarter century, roughly, or a bit more, in exchange for, okay, if oil were to hit 150 or something in the future, then is that the trade-off? Well, in the first 11 years, when you think about it, this is a declining feel. Uh, if you, the evaluation on that feel right now would be 40 million barrels. It's produced a lot of oil already, mm -hmm. so that feel would nearly have to double to get to $3.3 billion in value, and that would have to happen quickly because we get $1.9 billion out of this in the first 11 years. Right. So the longer out you go, the less opportunity, as you know, once you're depleting uh, an oil field. So this is a great great deal for our province. It's been a great week for our province. No risk, great balance. It's something that we needed at this time. If it's, if it's a great deal, as you put it, Premier, where, where are the third party endorsements of this? Where are the, who other than Liberals think this is a great deal? Well, there's a, you know, this is a complicated, uh, you know, this is a complicated agreement that we've signed here because it's based on the 8.5% uh, 8.5% shares of Iberni. It's about right. being the principal beneficiary. There's 40 million. That 8.5% is worth about 40 million well, barrels but, of but oil. The question though, you know, the Board of Trade, Noya, where are the cheerleaders one would expect? Because the last two times in the history of this province where there's been this kind of announcement, everybody was, okay, this is a great deal. So where are those voices now? Well, I have not talked to those, those folks. If they wanted to come in me and for us to explain this deal, it is a great deal. It is a guaranteed revenue stream of $2.5 billion. Nothing, there's no risk for us. It balances out the portfolios that we already, that we already have. And so for us, I think anybody that would look at this, right. given the situation we were into and the negotiation that we had, would have taken this deal, so including you, Brian Peckford. You expect those voices to come forward eventually? A absolutely. If they want to come in so we can explain this deal to them, we're more than willing right. to do this. This is a, a great deal for Newfoundland and Labrador. It gives us deep and joint management that we haven't had before. It gives us arbitration clauses that we didn't have before. It 
it also provides some certainty in the offshore feel that we haven't had before, which is what the industry is looking for. One political critical question uh, has to do with, you know, did you have to go through this quickly so Dwight Ball would have something to campaign on? No, no, not at all. We started this process a year ago when I first wrote the letter. Uh, to Prime Minister Trudeau at the time on February the 22nd. Mm -hmm. We agreed to get this done by March the 31st and we were able to do that. That's not to say this wasn't a tense uh, negotiation. There right. are times it certainly was. We came out of this with a guaranteed revenue stream. At today's value, this field would be worth $1.3 billion. Peckford would have left $2 billion on the table and assumed too much risk for this province. Okay, Bill Morneau, the Federal Finance Minister, is here on Friday. I wish we had time to get into that, but I have a feeling, Premier, that we're going to be speaking very frequently in the next two months. I certainly hope so, Anthony. I always enjoy getting the chance to speak with your listeners and clarifying some of the points like we did here tonight. All right, Premier Ball, thank you very much. Thank you.